Hey man, how's that laundry coming along? <laughs> well, hurry it up, man. I'm tired of being naked. <sighs> hey now, let's have you be burnt to a crisp and see how you like it. Hey man, cut it out with that face, you're really freaking me out. Let me guess, I'm gonna turn around and there's gonna be a shadowy dude with a briefcase. Alright, here goes. And... See Odessa, there's nothing to be afraid of. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Minimod Showcase. Sorry for no video yesterday, I honestly just needed a break. And it feels good to be able to just tell myself, Hey, that's okay. I don't need to do videos every day, but that is the goal, and that's what I'm gonna still keep striving towards. So, don't worry about everyday videos, we're gonna keep at it. So, what is today's video about? Well, if you guys remember the video we did on, well, Construct, where it was pretty much, well, cursed, or something's wrong with it. God, I hate that phrase. If I ever use cursed in any of my titles, guys, please unsubscribe from my channel. But anyway, this is pretty much a modified version of Big City. Now, at first, I thought I did a video on this already. What was that? Swore I just heard something. So I thought I did a video on this already, but turns out... God, I, I think I've seen things. Turns out that I ended up not doing it because I couldn't find, well, enough events to justify the video. This may or may not be a Minimod showcase. I'm going to assume it is. There's not a whole lot to this. You just kind of walk around, and eventually, you're going to start seeing some creepy things. It's a very subtle way to add some spookiness to Gary's mod, but this kind of goes back to the whole liminal space thing. If you guys want to see a video I did on that, I'll put that in the top right corner. This is going to kind of amp- And there we have it. There's our first spook. This is going to pretty much amplify that feeling. So, sometimes when you play Gary's mod, you know, especially alone, you get this unnerving feeling that maybe you're not alone, or something's wrong, like, something just feels off. And this is going to be even worse because, well, surprise, surprise, you're not alone. There is other figures on this map, and they may be right behind you when you least expect it. It's kind of funny because, like, I notice a bit more jitteriness on this map compared to the regular version, but, uh, it's hard to tell if that's because of the changes. So normally on this map, which is kind of funny like walking around this because I don't think I've ever really walked around big city like this. In fact, I might not have ever stepped foot in this area. It's kind of funny because I do feel like I would actually miss a lot of the spooky stuff. But uh, that's why I got my glasses on today because I want to be able to see anything creepy that we come across. By the way, if you guys didn't know, normally the only creepy thing in big city is this, Cafe Baltic. If you try going into it... That happens, it's an absolute classic. Oh, right there! Oh my god, we just got a glimpse of him. So I've been walking around for a solid... Uh, I want to say maybe like 5-6 minutes. And that's the first thing I've noticed. So, it really is hard to... Like, see him sometimes, because he'll be kind of like, inching out of a corner. But, when you do see him, it, it almost makes your blood run cold. There's just something really uncomfortable about it, about just seeing some figure spying on you. Oh, there we go. Wow. That is creepy, man. I think I know why I didn't want to do a video on this originally. This is one of those mods that is not good to do a video on because the events happen automatically. So guys, I do implore you to download this yourself, give it a shot, maybe just play on it whenever you want to play on regular Big City. And then you're gonna notice, you know, the occasional spook every now and then, kind of adds a bit of tension to the otherwise mundane gameplay of Gary's Mod. It's funny because I thought this would be an easy video, but it turns out to actually be kind of a hard video because I want to show off more of the creepy stuff, but I can't get it to spawn without just rummaging around through the map. Oh, there we go! Wow, okay, so we got him just through the alley. That honestly is where you're gonna find him the most. It's through these small nooks and crannies in between the buildings. But you do have to make sure that you're quick because the second you look at him, it kind of like starts a timer and then he just disappears. Oh, I think we just got a glimpse. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back in post to see if that was really something because I swear I saw his legs. 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so I think that's it for me. Uh, I've been walking around this map for probably like 20 something minutes now in total. And those are all the events that I've seen. But maybe you guys will get more interesting events. Definitely take a look at this yourself. This is one of those maps that it it's kind of cool to talk about, but like showcasing it is, well, let's just say it's a little difficult. And yes, I probably should have mentioned this, but there's even a night mode. Now I gotta say, I honestly just dig this map just because it's a pretty cool looking big city in night. It's not even like full night, it's almost like twilight. It does have that cliche overdone night sky texture that we see in a lot of maps, but the sun is still pretty damn strong, unless that's supposed to be the moon. Holy shiza, it's a strong moon. All right, so what are the odds that we're going to actually see anything with it being nighttime? Probably pretty slim, but hey, that's why we got flashlights. So I do appreciate that the map is not completely pitch black, so it does give us a chance to kind of look around a bit. And it's also going to make it to where when we do see a figure, it's going to be even scarier because we can barely see. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, so I would definitely say it adds a bit more of a creep factor, but let me know what you guys think down below. As always, though, all the links to all the mods that were used in this video will be in the description. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this until the end. Let me know your favorite creepy mods. And until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.